What's up, language lovers? Ready for your daily dose of English brilliance? Let's kick off another exciting lesson on Snoopy English. Stay tuned, stay awesome. Today, we are going to learn business expressions about project evaluation and performance measurement. The first key expression is, we should measure against the objective set at the start and the ROI achieved. This sentence is used to suggest evaluating project success based on predefined objectives and return on investment. The second key expression is, key metrics include deadline adherence, budget compliance, and quality of output. This sentence is used to identify crucial performance indicators such as meeting deadlines, staying within budget, and the quality of work produced. The third key expression is, feedback from stakeholders and team members should be systematically gathered and analyzed. This sentence is used to emphasize the importance of collecting and evaluating feedback from all relevant parties as part of performance assessment. The fourth key expression is, through clear and concise reports, highlighting achievements and areas for improvement. This sentence is used to advise on the method of communicating project outcomes to stakeholders, focusing on clarity and the balance between successes and areas needing improvement. Vivian, how do we evaluate the success of our projects? We should measure against the objectives set at the start and the ROI achieved. What performance metrics should we focus on? Key metrics include deadline adherence, budget compliance, and quality of output. How do we incorporate feedback into performance measurement? Feedback from stakeholders and team members should be systematically gathered and analyzed. What about continuous improvement in project management? We need to apply lessons learned to future projects and update our methodologies. How do we communicate project results to stakeholders? Through clear and concise reports, highlighting achievements and areas for improvement. Listen to the following main sentences repeatedly and become familiar with them. Let's listen to the conversation between the two people. We should measure against the objective set at the start and the ROI achieved. We should measure against the objective set at the start and the ROI achieved. Listen again with subtitles. We should measure against the objective set at the start and the ROI achieved. We should measure against the objective set at the start and the ROI achieved. Listen carefully without subtitles. We should measure against the objective set at the start and the ROI achieved. Okay, let's listen to the next conversation. Key metrics include deadline adherence, budget compliance, and quality of output. Key metrics include deadline adherence, budget compliance, and quality of output. Listen again with subtitles. Key metrics include deadline adherence, budget compliance, and quality of output. Key metrics include deadline adherence, budget compliance, and quality of output. Listen carefully without subtitles. Key metrics include deadline adherence, budget compliance, and quality of output. Okay, let's listen to the next conversation. Feedback from stakeholders and team members should be systematically gathered and analyzed. Feedback from stakeholders and team members should be systematically gathered and analyzed. Listen again with subtitles. Feedback from stakeholders and team members should be systematically gathered and analyzed. Feedback from stakeholders and team members should be systematically gathered and analyzed. 
Listen carefully without subtitles. Feedback from stakeholders and team members should be systematically gathered and analyzed. Okay, let's listen to the next conversation. Through clear and concise reports, highlighting achievements and areas for improvement. Through clear and concise reports, highlighting achievements and areas for improvement. Listen again with subtitles. Through clear and concise reports, highlighting achievements and areas for improvement. Through clear and concise reports, highlighting achievements and areas for improvement. Listen carefully without subtitles. Through clear and concise reports, highlighting achievements and areas for improvement. We've looked at the key expressions so far. Let's remember the key sentences and listen to the entire dialogue repeatedly. Vivian, how do we evaluate the success of our projects? We should measure against the objectives set at the start and the ROI achieved. What performance metrics should we focus on? Key metrics include deadline adherence, budget compliance, and quality of output. How do we incorporate feedback into performance measurement? Feedback from stakeholders and team members should be systematically gathered and analyzed. What about continuous improvement in project management? We need to apply lessons learned to future projects and update our methodologies. How do we communicate project results to stakeholders? Through clear and concise reports, highlighting achievements and areas for improvement. Was today's study useful? Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and share. Goodbye everyone and see you next time.